Good morning, YouTube. Welcome to the Reptile Barn. I want to shoot a quick video. Real quick. This that you are seeing is obviously not reptiles. So, quick story. Several weeks ago, we got that uh, blue striped garter snake, the Thamnophis sertalis similis. And, uh,. Like many garter snakes from the eastern U.S., uh, it's a little less willing to eat rodents than some of the western species or subspecies. Uh, and that's a generalization, of course. But uh, we were getting worried, couldn't get him to eat. He'd eaten a few earthworms, but I don't really like doing that because there's a much higher risk of uh, parasites. So we started feeding him guppies, and he took right to them. He loves them. Um, so, uh, this is our temporary little guppy tank. We'll, we'll, uh, improve upon this, but, you know, we've got the filter and, uh, some, some fake plants. These are a little bit, uh, cannibalistic, <laughs> so when they have babies, there needs to be a lot of things in there to let them, uh, hide. And, uh, yeah, so we've already got... Oh, six or eight babies, I would say. It's doing really well. We're pleased with it, at least. Um, and, uh, yeah, so these are just little tiny feeder guppies. We put them right into the snake's water, and he absolutely gobbles them. I am determined to get good footage. He's a little bit shy eating in front of us, but it is so awesome watching garter snakes eat hunting live fish. Um... So I'm, I'm definitely determined to get some video of that. But I just wanted to show um, what we've got here. Uh, we're not really fish people, although I like them just fine. But, uh, yeah, I was told don't put substrate in the bottom for guppies. Don't know if that's really necessary or not. You know, I'm not, not experienced with fish. But, uh... Yeah, just something different that I wanted to show you real quick. So I just wanted to shoot a really quick video. Um, we are determined to always do whatever it takes to help our reptiles thrive, even if it means breeding our own guppies, because I do not want to go to the store twice a week or whatever <laughs> to get guppies to feed this guy. So I just figured uh, we'd do it ourselves. Anyway, uh, please, any of you who are fish people, I am open to suggestions. You know, I did some reading before we did this, but obviously uh, this is pretty rudimentary. <laughs> uh, mostly fake plants. I'm going to get some uh, actual water plants. We just stuck a couple of pothos vines in there. Obviously that's not any sort of long-term solution. Um, I was told that this type of filter um, will be enough to oxygenate the water as well. I... I guess I'm a little skeptical of that, although again, I, I don't know really what I'm doing, so maybe it is. But uh, yeah, anyone who knows about fish, um, <clears throat> I am open to suggestions. So that is all. I hope you at least like the pretty colors <laughs> we picked out. Um, as much color in our fake plants as we possibly could. And uh, yeah, that is all. Thanks guys for watching. Till next time. We are the Reptile Barn.